Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to film for you a little bit of a different kind of video from my normal videos, but I still feel like this falls in the category of the way I like to live, which is simple living, intentional living, and I'm a big fan of critically thinking and using my brain. And I have a really lovely friend who does Monet. Now, just for a little bit of a backstory or explanation, I am not a Monet person. I'm not signed up. I'm not like financially Monet. I am very anti MLM businesses. And I've watched a lot of videos on YouTube about people that are like anti MLM. And I think I'm in the camp of still being anti because of the whole you've got like the people up the top that are mega mega rich and then you've got like the 1% that seem to be the millionaires and then you have the smaller people who don't realize that every single month they're like investing hundreds or thousands into products and stuff and they're busting their butts to get other people to sign up and they are making money, but they're not making the mega millions that the guys upstairs are making. But like I said at the beginning, I like to be like a critical thinker and I like to think carefully about things. And the one thing that I thought about really carefully was that I really love my friend and she literally has like really nothing to gain. Like she hasn't manipulated me. She's such a genuine, lovely person that I saw her she used to work in admin she talks about this on her Instagram so I will let you know what her Instagram name is and I actually started thinking Catherine what are the kind of things that you would like to improve well for the purposes of this video I have not beautified myself and I wanted to show you a real person that's gonna try Monet I know. <laughs> I'm gonna try Monet for one month. My friend Ruth sent me Monet products to try. She sent me my parcel in the lovely Australia Post. I'm gonna open it on camera and show you what is in there. I don't really know what's in there. And I also wanna show you, so this is what the hair of a 41 year old woman it has no dye in it. It has a few beautiful gray hairs. I had a shower last night before bed and I got out of the shower and I brushed my hair and I went to bed and it's now the morning and I wake up and I have hair like this. If you've seen other videos of mine, you know I prefer to have my hair straight because Obviously, I don't have like uniform curls. Yes, I've looked into the curly girl method. I just, I don't know. I like having my hair straight. For many, many years, I dyed my hair. Like for years and years and years, I dyed my hair a lighter color. And I decided maybe a year or two years ago to stop dyeing my hair. And my beautiful friend, Lynn, has helped me keep trimming it to get rid of all that dye. So I have pure hair now, but as I use my viewfinder to uh, like a mirror, you can see as I'm brushing my hair out, I have one of these, um, they call it the happy hairbrush that I bought. It doesn't make my husband happy. He doesn't like this because it's kind of like a soft. It's supposed to like not pull your kid's hair, but it also doesn't really brush your kid's hair. But anyhow, I digress. I do want to get a haircut. I, it's been a long time since I've had a haircut. So I plan on trimming off the ends, but I really, for the purposes of this video, I wanted to show people my, my progress. I have no idea. Is Monet gonna be great? Is it gonna be terrible? I don't know, but you can subscribe to my channel to follow my like hair discovery journey. And we can discover together how, oh, I just so desperately want to straighten my hair and 
the curl of my hair makes me feel like after I brush it, it's still unbrushed. Okay. Let's talk about the main things that I want with my hair. So I have had 10 children in 14 years. My youngest child is two months, two months, <laughs> two years, two years old. And this is all my, like the little bits at the front that I've grown since having James in the last two years. So I just kind of feel like um, the hairdresser says to me, you have fine hair, but a lot of it. I don't exactly know what that means, but I would just like my hair to be a bit more zhuzh. What do I currently buy? I think it's called Tresemme and it's whatever shampoo is on sale at Woolworths or Big W or even Aldi. So literally spending like the cheapest amount of money possible on shampoo and my whole family or it's like eight of us use the same shampoo and conditioner. I only wash my hair every four days, but I shower daily and I don't use a hair dryer, but I use hair straightener. Is that all the information you need to know about me? Um, and then the big thing was the face, the face. So I have crow's feet. I believe that through the two years of our unlawful lockdowns, I got a lot of wrinkles. So this is my face. Should I show you closer? This is my face. No makeup, no moisturizing cream, no nothing. It's just only my face. Here is my parcel. I'll open it up to see what I have. And I'm also gonna be like learning how to actually use this stuff. So I have the Purifying Vinegar Shampoo, deep cleans and balances. This is the one where, if I'm remembering correctly, I've been told that you put like a tiny little bit in your hand and you lather, 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 like heaps, 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 heaps. Look at it, if it's not enough not lather, you do more, 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 more. I've never tried this, so don't take this as like official Monet advice, but this is what I remember. You got heaps and heaps of lather and then you into the scalp, into the scalp, into the scalp, into the scalp, wash, 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 rinse, repeat, same kind of lather. If you don't generate enough lather, your hair can appear to be like really oily and greasy. And what we're trying to do is get out all my Tresemme supermarket shampoo by really cleansing the scalp and getting all the stuff out. Smoothing deep conditioner for rebellious frizzy hair with Rejuvenique. I think I can deliver that. And this has a Turny, ooh, that was like a satisfying click. Listen to that. Oh yeah. And you squeeze some out, and then you do from ears down the conditioner. And I can't remember if she said, I repeat it. After shampooing with Monet Smoothing Shampoo, gently squeeze excess water from the hair and apply Monet Smoothing Deep Conditioner. Leave for five minutes, rinse well. So this is just one and done. Ooh, we're moving on to the Be Gentle Creamy Cleanser. And apply a small amount to damp skin. Gently massage over face and rinse with warm water. Follow with your Monet skincare routine. I have no skincare routine. I use, um, in the shower, I use a Norwex face cloth and hot water and I rub and clean my face really well and that's it. I do have a goat's milk leftover moisturizer from the kids that I squeeze like this much and put on my face before I put any makeup on or no makeup on. Or sometimes I put nothing on except my glasses for the whole day. So I don't have a routine, but you know, we don't know what the future holds. I decided to just dump everything else out all right, we're back to the hair. So we have a Restore Leave-In hair conditioner. 
how to use. Apply evenly to wet, towel dried, or dry hair. Comb through and style as usual. Style as usual is um, letting it air dry, brushing it, and using the hair straightener. What is this? Oh, this is, hang on. We'll stay with the hair. I have the Reju, Reju wow. Rejuvenique bon by Monet. It's the hair oil. This says product of USA. This was the one where I have to ask Ruth how to use it, but I'm pretty sure like hours before or like in the morning, you're gonna wash your hair at night, you put it in and you like, it's like a hair mask thing and then you can do fancy twist ups and then you can have like an oil head for the whole day or for a few hours. I have to look into that more. Yeah. Skin Revitalizing Essence, Refining Water Treatment. A lightweight miracle water that quickly hydrates and replenishes, giving a smoother, brighter, more radiant complexion to all skin types. After cleansing, so do this first. Um, apply to face, neck, and decolletage. Use your hands or a cotton round. Follow with your Monet skincare routine. Use twice daily, so morning and night. I'm so gonna have to set reminders on my phone to remember all of this stuff and it's a lot but it's because I'm going from doing nothing to doing something. So Night Haven, Be Gentle and Eye Smooth. Let's talk about the Eye Smooth first. Using your ring finger, gently pat onto clean skin. Use daily in the AM and PM. When they do a pretty good job with their their pro their um product labeling and stuff, it's pretty good. And my last two products are Be Gentle Nourishing Moisturizer. Apply to your face and neck after your favorite Monet serum in the AM and PM. Night Haven. Apply each evening to face and neck as a nighttime moisturizer after applying your favorite Monet serum. Yeah. Now that I have shown you all of the products that I got and what my plan is, I'll just, I'll just recap. So the plan is for one month, I put my best efforts into being a good girl and using these products and trying them out. And then I'm gonna give to you and the rest of the world <laughs> my honest review. Are these things worth the money? Are they worth the time? I said to you I have 10 children and my normal routine sometimes is just like getting up, smelling my armpits, putting deodorant on, brushing my hair, putting a hair tie in and then putting my glasses on and I go for the day. So, you know, like I said, I'm 41 years old I'm at home all the time with my lovely children, but I kind of was wanting to see what I could do. My skin feels very soft and nice, and I don't really have any breakouts or problems with acne, pimples, or anything like that. But, you know, let's just see. Instead of always wondering and always being like, MLM is so bad. I think if I'm starting to buy things from Amazon and using Amazon Prime and getting things brought to my home, this is kind of the same thing. The products are like massively concentrated. So I've been told, like you shake your products up really well to distribute everything. And is it going to be comparable to my $8 shampoo? It's kind of hard to tell because I have so many people using the same shampoos but I want to give this a good go. So I'd love to hear your thoughts. What do you think of companies like Monet? What do you think of MLMs or these kind of businesses? Are you pro? Are they great? Or are you sort of, you know, in between? I really get bogged down often if I feel like there's like ethical things that I'm sort of not really on par with. And I do get really bogged down if I'm 
constantly, constantly barraged by the same individual people um, for their products. It doesn't matter what company it is. However, I love Ruth's passion. I absolutely love it. And it doesn't have to be Monet. It can literally be anything. It'd be like, you want to start a cookie making, cookie making business. You want to clean your house more or you want to improve yourself in some way. You want to become better at public speaking. You want to become comfortable doing YouTube videos. Whatever it is, I think having passion is like an amazing thing. So thank you for watching my video. I hope that you enjoyed just seeing a regular person show some products that are new to me and have no clue with what I'm doing. But I'm sure I'll get there eventually. And you can just subscribe and follow along because I think my next stage might be me actually working out how to apply or do the stuff. It will not be a shower with me video. You will not get that. But you will get a whole journey of one month of Monet. So wherever you are, I hope you are well. And I will see you, I will, in the next one. Bye guys. I wanted to add this one little bit at the end as like a final, this is my before. So this is what the straightened supermarket shampooed hair looks like. And yeah, so that's the end of this video. That's my intro, that's my very long everything. My next video will be an update the next Monet video so like I said subscribe so you can follow along on this wonderful journey to maybe success or maybe me realizing that I'm okay with just the shampoo from the supermarket.